What is up, YouTube? I'm Tom, and this is Tech Time, where I bring you all your tech all the time. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with my weekly videos. Today, we're talking about these guys right here. These are the Bleak Hummingbird Wireless. They're a wireless headphone, and what they are is not truly wireless, but they have a wire that connects from one earphone to the other, and then they connect Bluetooth. So no plugging into your phone, because nowadays, not too many phones are coming with headphone jacks, unfortunately. So most people are moving on to a truly wireless, something like this, no headphone jack. You just you know, put them on, connect them to Bluetooth, and you're on your way. I've been using these for about two weeks now, two and a half weeks, and I'm gonna get into my pros and cons of them. Disclaimer, Bleak did send these out for review, but it is my unbiased review. They actually asked if I could be compensated for the video, and I said no. Just send me an extra pair of headphones so that I can give one away to one of my lucky viewers. So these ones right here, the white ones, I will be giving those away to one of you. So hopefully you guys appreciate that. It will be only for people in the United States for shipping reasons. You know, I'm a smaller channel. It costs a fortune to ship things out overseas. So we won't be doing that just for my United States viewers. All you gotta do is be a subscriber of the channel, like or dislike this video, depending on which way you felt about it, and leave a comment down in the description telling me why you think you should win these headphones. They retail at $69, $68 on Amazon. They come in three colors, black, white, and then red. But the red you can only get on Bleak's actual website. And for some reason, the headphones on their website are $99. So I think it's a better option to get them from Amazon. There'll also be a link down in the description. Yes, it is an affiliate link. You buy something and I get a small percentage. Doesn't cost you any more money, but it does give back to the channel. So if you're interested in buying these, definitely appreciate if you use the link. So we're gonna get into the unboxing of them right now, and then I'll go over some of the features, and then I'll come back and let you guys know, you know, my full unbiased review at the end, and we'll see how they fared. So I'll catch you guys over on the unboxing table. Okay guys, we're back. We're at the unboxing table. We're gonna take a look at both of them. I've been using the black pair, so we'll get into the full unboxing on those, but I do wanna show you just what the white pair looks like. So there they are, white. And then each athlete that they have that works with the company has their own like color. Kelly O'Hara, she's a defender for US Soccer World Champion and gold medalist. She kind of signs it, you know, and then it has a picture of her. She does the white. Um, and then in the red, they have somebody else on their website. And then the black, they have somebody else. The black actually doesn't show you on the box, a picture of somebody. I think this is probably their first and most common color that they came out with. But on their website, they do show somebody representing the black color. So let's get into the unboxing. It's actually a really nice box on the back. Wireless Bluetooth, ultra long battery life, ambient mode we'll get into, quick charge, sweat proof, and then lifetime warranty. So open it up. Normally there's a little plastic piece right here. I've already taken that out. Little tabs right here, pull out the headphones. There they are. You also get some paperwork. Get a little bleak sticker. I actually like their symbol, it's pretty cool. And then you get your quick start guide, how to set them up. Um, fairly easy. You don't need to really pay attention to that. Then in the box, you get a carrying case it's like a hard shell with like a you know kind of like artificial leather over it that they can go into it's actually pretty nice not bad you get some ear tips different sizes and then you get some more ear tips different style and size so they have plenty of sizes and styles for whatever you need then you have get in here your charging cable micro usb we don't need to take that out, but it's micro USB. There you go. So we'll put all this back in the box. And then we'll take a look at the actual headphones, see what they look like. Damn, there they are. They pull out like so. Now these are sport headphones. This is gonna be for people that are active or unless you just like this type of design, but they are definitely more for the active lifestyle. So you get your right and your left. This is gonna be your right and your controls will be on your left side. Here's your control panel and your charging port is also built into this. This is where your battery lies. Charging port, 
there's a little bit of a pain. There you go, get it out. Then you have your plus minus. You hold it down to skip a track, tap it for volume. Then you have your middle button, that's your play pause, answer calls, also has for your pairing when you first start it up and your power button. This is also your ambient noise mode. So we'll get into that a little bit more. It does have a 14 and a half hour battery life so they say and i've actually been able to get right around 14 and a half if not more with these it seems like you know i'll have them at 80 percent, and then i won't wear them and they boost right back up to 100 it's pretty wild they get this patented flex rubber they call it actually goes around your ears really nice we'll show those in a second how it fits and how they feel so we'll get back into it. I just want to show you what the unboxing was like. Now I'll give you guys my impressions on it. We'll take a look on how they look on me and things like that. So now let's talk more about the headphones, how they sound, battery life, features, how comfortable are they? Let's get into all that. So let's first get into fit, comfort. So depending on what ear tips you choose, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you really go through them and find one that fits perfectly. I went through them and was actually surprised, but the ones that come right out of the box are the ones that fit me the best. So you get your two headphones, kind of a weird design. Your controller is on the left ear, and then there's like a drawstring. You can either have that sitting in the front of you or in the back. I like to have them hanging, so I put them in the back like so. Then you take them and you put them in your ear, and then I kind of just put this around my ear, and then they turn back. Same thing with the left one. So overall going in, you know, a little bit tricky the first time, but you get used to it. It's not something you're gonna wanna take on and off while you're, like you're at the gym or if you're playing sports. Luckily, you don't have to because it has an ambient mode. I'll get into that a little bit more after I talk about how comfortable these things are. Now they're kind of heavy feeling, and I thought originally, hey, these things are gonna be a pain in the ass. They're really gonna be heavy at the gym. They're not gonna be comfortable, but I was totally surprised on how comfortable they really are. Not once. Not once while jogging on the treadmill because I've been getting back into the gym. I've been using those primarily there. Did running on the treadmill or working out, sweating, did they ever once come close to falling out of my ear? Stayed completely secured, didn't move, didn't jiggle, didn't get in the way of my working out one bit. Now I'm reviewing some other headphones at the same time as this and it's actually given me a good perspective because I've been able to compare them you know, side by side, different days I wear different headphones and two of the other pairs of headphones that I'm reviewing, I can't say the same for fit. They don't stay in your ear as well, and they have a similar kind of design as these, but they don't stay in your ear nearly as well. These things fit in your ear and stay in perfectly. For me, maybe different for you, but for me, they fit beautiful. Now, I've used them upwards of two hours at one time, no issues, super comfortable, didn't have a problem at all. Most you know, earbud style headphones, give me some kind of like a, you know, irritation on my ear. They just kind of get too tight. These ones fit beautiful. I enjoyed them the whole time working out. Never got in the way of them. So for fit and comfort, these things are, you know, pretty perfect for that aspect of the headphones. Now, getting into like battery life, we'll talk about, they say about 14 and a half hours. I've gotten probably about 15 hours and that's over what they claim. You know, I've used them two hours here, one hour there, and added it all up. I kept track of it in my phone, and I've got upwards of like 15 hours, no problem, and I listen to them at full blast because of sound quality, something we'll talk about in a second. But battery life has been great. You can also get one hour of playback time for 10 minutes of charging time. That's pretty incredible. You know, there's plenty of times where you're ready to run off to the gym, and if these are your own, you know, personal pair, and they were just primarily the only pair you owned, and they're dead, what are you gonna do? No problem, on the way to the gym, 10 minute ride, plug them in, and you get an hour worth of battery life, so that should last most of your gym session. So that's a pretty good feature, quick charge being on it. I definitely have used that once already, and it did come in handy. Now, let's get into sound quality. Most people, when they buy headphones, one of the main things they're looking for is sound quality. Now the sound quality on these is hit or miss, depending on what you're looking for. I have used these for you know, gym activities and I listen to mostly either rock or hip hop at the gym. It just kind of gets me going and that's what I've used it for primarily. 
Now, I can say that bass is severely lacking in these headphones. It does not say on their website anything about having incredible bass, but it does on their Amazon listing talk about deep, rich bass. And that is one thing that these do not have is deep, rich bass. When I'm listening to hip hop, they lack in the bass. Unfortunately, I wish they did have just a tick more, but I can say the treble in the mids is definitely on point. They sound great. And what I also like about them is you can go max volume without them distorting and crackling, breaking up. I've used them on a couple of smartphones so far, no issues at all. The sound quality, like at full blast, never kind of distorts, which I like. I hate when you get a pair of headphones and you turn it up and next thing you know, they're crackling and popping in your ears. That will not happen with these. They are on point, max volume, so they must maybe have some kind of a setting built into them that taps them out at a certain volume, but so far, so good with those. I've never had any issues, but like I said, it's definitely lacking in bass, and that could also be one of the reasons why it doesn't pop and snap as much because it doesn't have as much bass. I couldn't find what size drivers they're using, probably something small, and I also couldn't find what type of Bluetooth they were using. Whatever they use, though, it pairs super, super fast. Literally, like you, you turn these things on and they pair like within that split second. Normally, you don't see pairing that fast. So whatever they're using, maybe Bluetooth 4.2 or something like that, definitely works good. Another good feature of these that I was surprised by is that you can watch videos and not have the audio be delayed. I have no issues on these at all watching videos. I watch YouTube videos when I'm running on the treadmill and the Audio and video matches up, syncs perfectly. There's no latency at all, so that's pretty cool. I normally don't see, you know, these style of headphones have that good of sync. Most of the time they're off for like a couple of seconds or half a second, even a split second. It's all it takes. These ones, beautiful. Everything pairs up and goes perfectly with the video. So if you're looking for something that's really bass heavy, unfortunately, these aren't gonna be them. But if you listen to something you know, for rock and roll or hip hop podcasts, you know, listening to the news, listening to YouTube videos, these things do sound great. Like I said, they're just missing a little extra kick of bass. They don't have that little bump. And if that's something that really you need, especially in the gym that gets you bumped up, then, you know, you're gonna probably wanna look elsewhere. But sound quality is really good. It's balanced, you know, but it's, it's just lacking in the bass area. I haven't had any issues with them. I like the volume that they get to, so for me they work out pretty good, and I can say that they are better than two of the pairs that I am reviewing right now. The two other pairs are real bass heavy, but they don't have the sound quality. You know, there's not there's a lower quality and more of a bumping bass. i rather have the better quality sound with a little less bass, preferably for myself. That's just, I'd rather have a better quality sound. So these ones, you know, are good for that. At $69, can I recommend them to you guys? And I could say, yeah, I do recommend them at that price point. I wouldn't pay $100. I think there's probably some better options at $100. But I think at $69, they're a good option. I would buy these all day long over the OnePlus uh, Bullet Wireless that I have. Those are completely lacking in sound quality. The comfort's pretty good, but these are much better. Now, another thing though, if you're not looking for like a sporty look, these are really sporty. They stand out, they're big. You know, you might wanna go elsewhere. But they are feature packed, you know, being so big and having them on, you're not going to want to take them off. So you have them on, you're in the gym, somebody comes up to you or you're with your workout partner, you can't hear them because the music's bumping. You don't want to take them off because they're kind of like a pain to put in, they fit good, you, don't, you just kind of want to leave them on. You have an ambient mode. The middle button on this, which is also your play pause and your power button, you double tap that real quick and it uses omnidirectional omni mic and it picks up the outside sound. So you can easily hear anybody you're speaking with. You can hear, you know, people running on the treadmill. You can hear weights clanking when you're in the gym. And I thought that feature was really cool. I actually used it yesterday. Guy wanted to talk about sports, about the Patriots and things like that. And uh, I'm like, damn, man, I don't want to keep taking these off. And I'm like, I have ambient mode on these. Boop, boop, click it. Totally could hear them. Boop, boop, click it back. And I'm back into my music and I'm into working out. Guy comes back over to bother me again. <laughs> Double click and we're talking again. I shouldn't say bothered because, you know, the guy wanted to talk sports, which is fine, but when I'm at the gym, I kind of just want to get my workout on and get the hell out of there. I don't want to sit there and shoot the crap. You know, you see some people there FaceTiming and doing whatever, but that's another story for another day, guys. Overall, I think these are definitely worth the pickup at the price point. Let me know down in the comments below, do you like this sporty style with the over the hook or do you just like a regular, 
type of uh, earphone, let me know. I also have a pair of true wireless headphones coming up that I'm interested in. I haven't tested them out yet, and I do have another pair that will be making it to the channel of headphones this type of style, and they have definitely a different sound signature, so we'll get into them, and also a little bit of a cheaper price point. So we're gonna have some options coming up in 2019 for wireless headphones for you guys, because if you buy a smartphone in 2019, odds are you're not gonna have a headphone jack. So you're gonna need something like this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike, that's fine. I like constructive criticism. Let me know what you guys think of the videos. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.